بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome everyone الحمد لله We are so honored and excited tonight to be able to host yet another Shahada here at MCC. I've lost count, to be honest, of how many we've had. MashaAllah, tabarakallah, may Allah keep continuing to increase them. And we have one uh, or more than one every single day, inshallah. But we're very honored to have our dear brother, our young uh, congregant brother Yasin here, who I was just informed. This is his second, uh, facilitating his second Shahada this month. So our young congregant Yasin has, mashallah, is doing the hard work. Uh, he's out there and he's doing this hard work and he's, mashallah, reaching the hearts. He's brought his dear, I think, best friend or close friend, Romeo, today. And I'm going to pass the mic on because apparently they have an incredible story that I'm really eager to hear. So I'm going to ask Brother Yasin to go ahead. He's also going to facilitate the Shahada, which I love. It's beautiful. They're friends. This is going to be a memory for a lifetime that they will have, inshallah. So Yasin, please welcome uh, us to, or, or share with us your story. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Um, so basically this story began yesterday, uh, last night, yeah, like around five o'clock. Me and uh, I decided to call up Romeo. I went to go ask him about something, right? And then the conversation just eventually evolved into like life in general and how like today's society, there's so many issues, you know, issues of masculinity, how men are not really men nowadays, how um, the world is just influenced by like uh, corrupt people. And then slowly over time, I just, I started to like, I told Romeo about Islam and how it fixed every single one of these issues 1400 years ago. These issues of like uh, masculinity, I told Romeo about how, right? Yeah, how like it's not cheap to have to be a true man. Yeah. I like just blew my mind. Yeah, like, yeah. Why? Yeah. So I told Romeo about all that, right? I told Romeo about how you should stop playing video games. Stop, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Stop watching all these movies, these wasting of time, right? And I told him how Islam. It makes you constantly improve every single day. Every single day, you just want to be a better person. Every single day, you want to get closer to Jannah, right? So I just told them about that. I told them how, like, in Islam, the whole, like, concept of it is, like, consistency. You're always consistent. You're consistent with your prayers. You're consistent with your, like, your dhikr, you know? And consistency always, like, leads to success if you know what you're doing. And, and subhanAllah, I told Romeo that he wants to seek the truth. And Romeo, he really did. And I was like, all right, I want you to look at the Quran. And subhanAllah, I showed him a video. And they explained about the mathematical. You want to explain how you felt yeah. about that? Yeah. Yeah, he told me to watch this like 13 minute, minute video that basically explained it. So I watched it. And in a part of the video, it mentioned how basically like everybody that's read the Quran, have, Quran sorry about that, um, they shed tears. And I was like, that's, that's wild. So I, um, I listened to the first 15 verses of it and it, it was so crazy. Like I actually started shedding tears from it. I was like, wait, I don't know. I was just mind blown. I was like, I, I'm still like really shocked right now. My bad about that, but it's, it's wild. Yeah, subhanAllah, I showed him the first 15 verses of Surah Baqarah. And it basically talks about how, like, this is the book for those who want guidance, right? And Romeo, you know, he wanted the truth. He wanted to yeah. seek the truth. Unlike the majority of people today, Romeo, like, he honestly, like, wanted to seek guidance. He did not want to reject it. He did not want to, like, waste time, you know? And because of that, subhanAllah, Allah made me the means of him to be guided. You want to explain to you what happened, like, the last couple of weeks of school, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you want to? Okay, so basically, oh, okay, I'll start. Like, oh, you, you want to scratch it? Got you. Bro. All right, bro, this is complicated, bro. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm super. <laughs> yeah. So, like, what happened was, well, I, you know, I just, I felt really bad that I knew about Islam. I felt really bad about, like, my non-Muslim friends, how they don't understand it. They don't get it. And it, like, it will lie. It broke my heart, right? So, like, I remember sometimes at night I prayed to Hedrid. Prayer, right? And I, and I would always ask Allah to do it, you know, I'm just asking Allah, you know, guide my friends, guide them to the truth, guide them, 
make him see the truth. And then subhanAllah, you know, Romeo had this, you know, like, like out of nowhere, like I just started thinking about like the truth more. And um, um, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it. Like it was just, it was just weird. Like um, I was just living my normal life. And like one, like the middle of the day, randomly, I was, I just started thinking really deep and I was like, I don't, I don't, I want to start like working. I want to start like making my days more productive. I don't want to just like kind of do nothing most of the time. Like I was starting to get tired of doing nothing, you know? Yeah, I was, I was just like, I was just like, Romy, I felt bored of life, you know? I've always felt like there was something even more out there, more and more greater than me. And then, subhanAllah, you know, like uh, me and Romeo I'm just connected. And by the way, we hadn't, at that time, like when school ended, right? Like in, like what, May, June 1st? We hadn't speak, to, I haven't spoke to Romeo since like yesterday, in like a month's time. Mm -hmm. And then immediately me and him clicked right away, right? It was yeah. just out of nowhere. Too. Yeah, out of nowhere. We had like a deep discussion for like three hours, right? Just talking yeah. back and forth. Well, I, I can't remember everything, but like, it was just so mind blowing, man. Like, you know, subhanAllah. You know? Like, you know, you wanna keep going? Yeah, it was um, that conversation. It was also really nice to connect with him for all the things we were talking about because there's only like one other person that I'm actually friends with that I'm actually able to speak about, um, you know, like society and like just a lot of deep things. And, um, it was it was just like a really nice conversation, like really nice, mind blowing conversation. Yeah, you know, because like again, majority of our age group, you know, yeah. they're just like they don't they're not men, you know, they're not true men, you know, they don't think, they don't want to use their brains, they're just they just want to play on their PlayStation all day. They don't care about knowledge. And Subhanallah, if you just like let them go outside, you can see like the beautiful world. Instead of that, you know, they rather like stay home waste their time on like Netflix, movies, nothing that benefits them. And when I realized this, like it really like, it just killed my, it killed my hopes for like, you know, I, I just, I hated it. I was wasting time. It, it was just, it was killing me and I hated it so much. And I wanted to seek truth, I wanted to seek knowledge. And then like, well, I, and, like after that, I just started learning more and more about Islam. I started learning about the masculinity and the manhood of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and how he's like the perfect role model. Right? Yeah, I was yeah. telling him about him, and subhanAllah, you know? Yeah, you want to explain how the miracle of the Quran, how Muhammad could not read or write, you know, salt or something? Yeah. Really uh, oh, my bad. <laughs> so, remember I was talking on the dinner table, how, like, how shocked you were that Muhammad salt or something, he could not read or write, but he came yeah. out with something like the Quran? Yeah. When he was, when, um, when he was telling me this yesterday about that, I... I, dude, I'm like still kind of speechless on it, but yeah, that, that was literally my reaction. I was just, I was just speechless. Like I didn't know what to, I didn't know what to say like at all. I was just speechless. Like I still am a little speechless right now. Yeah. Like kind of like my bad for that. But, um, it was just, yeah, like I said, it was a really nice conversation and it made me want to, you know, learn more about this and I want to, um, every night actually. I was gonna listen to, I'm gonna listen to 15 verses of the Quran every night. And I already did one yesterday, so. You know, Alhamdulillah, you know, like, well, I, it's like the only one message I just wanna give to people out there is like, you know, what Brother Munir said that Muslims are like the biggest criminals out there because like we have the truth, we have the knowledge, but like a bunch of us, especially the youth, they're like ashamed of it. They're ashamed to go pray. They're ashamed to say I'm a Muslim. They're ashamed to grow the beard. They're ashamed to, like, do anything. And then, like, you know, well, I ain't sad. You know, like, the hijabis, they refuse to wear hijab. The Muslim men, they refuse to pray. They refuse to, like, to do anything because they're embarrassed. They have this inferiority complex. They think, like, you know, that we're lesser than, like, uh, these, you know, non-Muslims, which is completely wrong. Like, because we have the truth, you know? Like, we're being criminals here. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, like, you know, and on Arafah, he replaced the trust amongst us, right? That every single one of us become da'is. That every single one of us spread the message of Islam. Because we all have that capability, you know? Like, well, I, you know, if it, was, if it wasn't me, like, if, if it was any other Muslims, Romeo would have came to the same conclusion. That's the beauty of Islam. 
but like most of us, like we just refuse. We were just embarrassed, and like it's it's, it's sad because you know like we have the truth. You know, like why do we not want to spread the truth? Why are we embarrassed by it? Why are we like you know lying to ourselves? You know, it's messed up. You know, so would you like to add anything? Or? Um, I'd like to talk about this morning. Okay, yeah, it, go ahead. So last night, um, I couldn't really sleep for a minute because. Um, off, of, off of everything that he told me yesterday, I was still like just really just mind blown. Like I, I literally just couldn't go to sleep. Like I, I had so much energy for no reason. <laughs> and I was just so shook. Like I, I, I couldn't go to sleep. So I think I ended up going to sleep at like one o'clock. <laughs> and I woke up at six. So I didn't, I didn't get like too much. I didn't get like too good sleep. Like usually I'd get like around like eight or nine hours of sleep, um, you know, because I try to get good hours of sleep. But this morning, I woke up like, like I've never had that good of sleep in like weeks. No, no, not weeks, months. Like, like it was actually mind-blowing. And then, and then he called me, and then he was like, how do you feel? I was like, dude, I haven't had this good of sleep in a while. Like, what? And then he was like, yeah, that was like the same thing for me. Like, I had like two hours of sleep, and I still felt like, I just I just slept really good and I was like, dude, that's yeah. like it's I'm shook. Yeah. <laughs> like like he really we really experienced the same thing. Like it's it's so it's, it's wild. It really is, you know. <laughs> and so, then, you go. I, yeah, another another thing my bad. Another thing I'd like to add on with that is um even when I did wake up, like I didn't I didn't wanna like do what I normally did. Like, I didn't want to, like, just hang out or do nothing at my house. Like, I actually wanted to be productive with my day. So that's what I was doing. I was being productive. And, like, I was enjoying it. Like, it was, dude, I've never enjoyed <laughs> Like, yeah. like, not to come off lazy yeah, yeah, or anything. Yeah, I got that. Like, I got that. Yeah, that's like, like most like, of us. Right? Doing work like that hasn't been too enjoyable like yeah. that. But, like, this was the first time, like, I actually really enjoyed working. Mm -hmm. which was yeah wild yeah, for, uh, yeah it's the same for me though know? because like with the whole prayer thing i was like i'm uh, I'll, I'll admit this i was not really the most practicing muslim until like recently december right and i figured it out like when i started praying my five prayers when i started being more consistent with islam and i started improving myself a lot like i love working now you know it's very easy for me i'm gonna just like just to be productive and now i just for some reason i hate this i have this hatred of just wasting time. I have this hatred of just sitting there and doing nothing, right? Yeah, it's just so boring. Like, I can't stand it. Like, you know, I always gotta improve. I always gotta gain knowledge. I always gotta do something, you know? And it's, yeah. Yeah, um, like uh, today, my friends asked if they could hang out with me, so I was like, sure. So I invited them to my house and we were hanging out for like a good two hours. And I was like, I literally just looked at all my friends. I was like, dude, like, we're not doing anything. Y'all can just like go right now. I'm not gonna lie, cause I, <laughs> like I I started getting a headache, cause they were just I mean they were having a good time. And I was sitting there like, dude, we're doing nothing. Like I don't want to do nothing. Like y'all y'all can just go right now. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. see that? Yes, I don't know. So would you like to say anything else, or are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? I don't know what I'm ready for, but I'm ready okay. for it. <laughs> so let me explain to you what the Shahada is. So the Shahada is basically a declaration of faith. You're telling all these people now that I'm a Muslim. And once you say these words, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, it's the greatest, well, I'll slow it down for you, don't worry. It's the greatest, it's the greatest, one of the greatest statements of all time. Because, you know, like, like, the word la ilaha illallah, there's no God worthy of worship except Allah, that is so powerful, you know? Like, that could honestly, like, save you from, like, hell. Yeah, like, legit, there'll be a man on the Yom al Qiyamah, on the Day of Judgment, right? He'll have all these sins, and he'll be like, oh, man, he's thinking to himself, I'm going to go to hell, right? And then there'll be one card that says la ilaha illallah, and it'll be put on his good deeds, right? You know what happened? All his bad deeds, his mountains of bad deeds dropped immediately because of that one statement alone and because of that he got to Jannah bro, to heaven like yeah that's how powerful that statement is and it's so powerful in fact that after once you say it 
you're like a new Muslim, you're like brand new, you're like a newborn baby. Every single thing that you did, I don't care how bad it was, no sins, any sin, bro, it's forgiven immediately. Yeah, so, so prepare yourself, man. All right. All right. Okay, All right, it's a you. simple statement, bro. No All pressure, right. you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Ashadu. Repeat after me. Ashadu. Ashadu. La, la, ilaha, ilaha. In Allah. In Allah. In Allah. Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammada. Muhammad Abduhu Ab Abduhu 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 War Wa War Rasulu Rasulu Yeah, okay, you got it. All right, my bad. That's all it's good. No, that's fine, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna say it in English now. You're gonna repeat after me. Okay. I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is no deity. That there is no God. That. That. No, wait, would you say that? The, deity. That, Deity? Yeah, okay. That, that there's, there's no, no that there's no deity. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the microphone. Worthy of worship. Worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is the servant. Is the servant. A messenger of Allah. A messenger of Allah. Allah Sir Muslim Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, you know. Takbir, you know. Allahu Akbar, you know. Now you're a Muslim, but every single thing you just did is forgiven, you know? That's wild. <laughs> That's yeah, man. So it's like, mashallah, man. So, inshallah, uh, I'll teach you how to. I'll teach you the Fatiha, the first chapter of the Quran, and then uh, I'll teach you how to pray today, right. inshallah. Yeah. And uh, I got you. Said uh, Munir has like the box, right? Yeah. So Munir has like the Muslim box, and he'll, he'll teach you. He'll he'll help you out. We have Muslim programs out there. Okay. Uh, so don't worry, man. Don't feel overwhelmed. Just take it one step at a time. All right. All right. All right. You wanna... Oh no no it's fine it's fine it's in the it's in the, it's in your office it's yeah okay my bad <laughs> but, so when he's bringing that up so I, you want to tell us how you feel like dude <laughs> like that conversation last night was actually so mind blowing yeah like. Not, and especially coming here, like, I felt so welcome into this. Mm -hmm. Like, um, like, I appreciate the dinner. Yeah, no problem, bro. No. And, yeah, bro, I got you, man. Anytime. Eat. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, you know. Oh, no, you don't have to. Uh, okay, so, like, when new Muslims convert to Islam, some of them, they choose a Muslim name, but you don't have to choose a new Muslim. It's, it's, it's you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. You can keep Romeo if you like, but you know. Yeah. All right. All right. So, inshallah. So, I'll start you off. This is your prayer, man, mashallah. You know? So, yeah. when we pray five times a day, we face Mecca, right? You know, the black cube, the Kaaba, right? Yeah. We face that direction and then we pray. Right? And then, inshallah, bro, we got you a bunch of books, right? By Hamza Yusuf. Purification of the heart. Yeah, yes, yeah, right? sir, right? So, like, it's by Hamza Yusuf. He's a famous uh, Muslim preacher. You know, everyone knows him. He sometimes comes here, right? So then I'll get, leave that book right here. Um, you know, and then we have this book, The Book of Assistance for New Muslims. This is going to help you out a lot. Right. I'm going to tell you right now, for a long time, you're going to be, you might feel lonely, but just trust me, these books are going to be like your best friends, bro. Trust All right. Me. All right. The next book is uh, this being a Muslim, a practical guide is going to help you out. Trust me, like, okay, a lot is going to do. It. All right. And this is the greatest book of all time. The Quran. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. So this is the Quran. And it's, oh, mashallah, it's even with the last sermon. Um, so, like, it's the English translation. You can take that. Be careful with it. It's the word of Allah directly, right? Yeah. It's like the one of the, it's the greatest book of all time. There's going to be nothing like this book until the day of judgment. There'll be nothing. All so right. just take care of it. Um, you know, read it. And uh, trust me, any, any questions you have, any stressful situation that you're going to have, you're going to find it in this book. Yeah. Eventually, yeah, you just got to read it, you know. Okay. You got to think over it. But yeah. So this is, this is your uh, new Muslim guy, alhamdulillah. I appreciate it. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> So, again, don't feel overwhelmed. We're going to take this 
baby steps, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so...